Hey guys, dang old nerd here. Um, nerding out a, about a few packages I received today. Uh, and um, this is like my, I've been doing like a video a day, you know. <laughs> this is what happens when you take a week off of work. Um, so, let's see. Um, so yeah, I, I posted a video yesterday about my um, ammo hunt frustration. And within 24 hours, I got 680, 85 views and 10 new subscribers. So thank you for uh, subscribing, but um, I'm just mind blown. You know, like, I didn't know, I didn't know that was the secret sauce is post uh, ammo hunting videos. <laughs> I've never had that much, you know, kind of traffic going through my, my channel, but, um, uh, let's see. Today I went to the range, uh, went there around 10.30 this morning and it was, it was nice. It was, uh, pretty much empty. Um, and I got to spend a lot of time. I, I fired off about 300 rounds. I finished off this box. It had 200 and then I, I shot the, the two boxes of the uh, steel case ammo so my range they don't care you can I can fire staircase or anything um, so yeah I did a, did a lot of um, kind of just presenting and um, working on my my trigger control that's my big issue I got some hit uh, uh, pointers from the range officer um, he was a good guy we, we talked a little bit about you know guns and prepping and things like that. I'm not a prepper, but because uh, uh, if, you know, if, if, for those of you who don't know my history, uh, you know, I'm a cancer survivor and I'm still taking immunosuppressant drugs. So I'll be taking those for the rest of my life. I have issues with my eyes. I got special lenses, uh, a lot of side effects from my bone marrow transplant. So for me, there's no point in prepping because I'm only gonna live as long as I have access to a to a pharmacy and to my to my meds. So, but I like to be prepared for you know like my immediate immediate environment and things like that. Um, so yeah, one of the topics or in the comments we were talking about um, how how much defense ammo do you do you have? And this I was really really shocked by this. I didn't know. I was supposed to be <laughs> stockpiling defense am defensive ammo. Um, like I mentioned in the comments, I have about 35 of the of the Underwood, um, whatever, it's like 90, 90 grain plus P. That's my primary uh, in my SIG. I have two mags, so I have 35. So I can have two mags plus five left over which I use to kind of rotate, you know, the, the top round every, every time I um, clear, the, clear the weapon when I do dry fire and things like that. So I rotate the rounds out. <clears throat> and then I got uh, 35 rounds of the Hornady, um, whatever their defense ammo. And that's for <clears throat> my um, Smith & Wesson. And I don't know, I thought two mags would be enough, you know, like for home defense. Um, I, I figure it's just going to be, you know, sh shots fired. People either fall dead or flee or, you know, like I, I think it will be over, you know, really quick. Uh, like I said, it's not going to be a, you know, a siege where you have to outlast somebody, you know, with, with rounds. But I could be wrong. But yeah, uh, one of the people that commented, he said he has 500 defensive rounds wow i was uh, <laughs> i was blown away by that um and then um the range officer he said that he has about 200 250 so i'm a little bit surprised i guess i didn't know that um i guess i need to start i have actually the ups guy is en route to my house he's got my underwood um 80 rounds that i ordered um I, I I had planned to just kind of rotate the new stock and then shoot off my my two previous ones. They're they're only like six months old, but I was gonna rot. I thought you you know rotate it out, 
fire them, you know. But I might, I might just keep, <laughs> I might just keep these now. See what happens. He said the range guy said that he rotate he rotates his um, defense ammo maybe like once or twice a year. So anyhow, um, yeah. So the purpose of today is um, talking about my packages. So I got one one package. I had some my biodegradable BBs. So there's like five thousand of these, and then it came with. Um, some pellet gun lube and then I have a couple other deliveries coming um, two mags co2 cartridges um, the the air pistol itself won't be here till probably end of the month and um, yeah and then the other thing that came today was this box and it's from alien gear I got my holster it came much sooner than I thought, but this is what comes in the box. This is a extra outside the waistband magazine carrier, which was free. this was a free offer. So the holster, the shoulder harness is like one hundred thirty dollars, and then they they were I guess just putting one of these in now. So that's cool, free mag carrier. Here's the receipt. This is half the shell for the this is for my sig for my sig so we'll see how that works and then other than that you get this that this is different my previous alien gear used to have the the logo on here but now it's just a plain black bag and then inside is the instructions and the actual rig. Um, not, okay, I guess it'll go this way. <clears throat> and this is this is the part that I'm most interested in because I know I'll have to modify this to get my uh, sig in there. Um, first of all, with the gas pedal, a light. So Alien Gear doesn't doesn't make it for that. So. This has, so this has the the one half shell, and then it's nice they include the other half if you wanted to. I think they have this whole system that you can change out, so you can you can you know have both both halves of it. But it seems pretty nice. It's um, seems like pretty good leather. I like I love leather, um, especially after you know it wears down and you get you know. You get that wear and you know the patina but um it looks like it's just so I, I i thought it would be kind of similar to the hook and loop alien gear holster that i've been using a lot and um so this is kind of similar it's got the thumb release so i don't know i don't know about that but uh yeah I think the backing is pretty sturdy. I think I can possibly do the same thing where I cut a slit in the backing and then I can put the clip in that. And it's got this hook, hook and loop strap. So, well, let me go ahead and try it on, see what it looks like. Um, get my, so this is my, um, rig and then previous videos i told you that i've been i got this hole in my pocket that fits perfectly where the the valve is okay so let's get this off and let's see um i yeah i, I it's pretty cool. The other side has two mags, two mag carriers. So I guess it just goes on like this. Yeah, it seems like it's pretty good. 
You guys just go over your belt. I'll have to mess around and try to adjust it a little bit, but. Hmm. That's something. Let's see. And then I think this thing you can adjust the cant, but um, I will definitely be adjusting it. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I want it more kind of vertical. But, um, so yeah, it seems it seems pretty nice. Uh, the leather is seems pretty thick. It's got some some give to it, but um, two mags on this side, and this is the way it looks in the back. Feels pretty comfortable. So um, yeah, I'll have to mess around with this and. You'll be seeing some future videos where I modify it. Try to get my SIG in, to fit in here. Um, but yeah, so that's all I got now. Um, stay tuned. I'll, I'll be push, posting more. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, uh, I will go my last attempt to get get ammo at a cap i want my one goal in life is to be first in line so i can get one of those 500 500 round packs you know i'm, I'm not going to be greedy i'm not going to take two I'll, i will just take one 500 rum you know the bulk box and then maybe one you know smaller one if they have you know maybe like a hundred round one but um yeah, tomorrow, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to get there super early. I'm planning, you know, I'm going to get up maybe 3.30 and get there by 4. Just get my ass in line and just stand there in front of the door. So the other time, on Wednesday, the two guys, they were in their cars when I pulled up and then they came out. But um, <clears throat> I'm going to just stand by the door. So anyways, um, yeah, this... Alien gear thing looks pretty cool. I think it'll be a good alternative to, um, you know, like when driving long distances in the car. I think it, that would be, that's prob probably the primary use for it. Um, I I can't carry uh, when I go to work because I work on a on a military base, so I can't even bring my gun on base. But um, most days. You know, I usually wear a coat and tie, so this this would be perfect for that, but nope, I can't carry on base. So, I have, primarily, I think just maybe um, when, I'm, when I know I have a long drive, or just maybe messing around the house. So, anyways, um, that's it. I'll be posting more about this, and... Thanks for watching. See you next time.